Mass evacuations are taking place as two cyclones converge on Australia, Cyclone Trevor and Severe Cyclone Veronica. Here's a satellite picture of Cyclone Trevor, now a Category 2 system in the eastern Gulf of Carpentaria. It is a very large tropical cyclone with gale force winds extending 200 to 300 kilometers from its center. The eye of the storm is about 30 kilometers wide, which is the same size as the entire cyclone Marcus that hit Darwin a year ago. Trevor is forecast to intensify to a Category 4 on Friday. But Cyclone Trevor is not alone. Severe Cyclone Veronica, which is forecast to landfall on western Australia's Pervera coast this weekend, has intensified to a Category 4 storm, with the potential to turn into a Category 5 cyclone before landfall, according to the Bureau of Meteorology. The Bureau says the region could be severely impacted over the weekend, with both cyclones hitting simultaneously on Saturday. It is really important that people understand this is a very serious cyclone event. Not only is it very intense, but very large and covers a broad area, so people are going to be impacted by it. Lockhart River was thrown into lockdown at one o'clock. Uh, police were going around door to door, making sure that people were going to stay indoors. Shortly after that, they lost power. And then as Cyclone Trevor crossed over the coast, we saw wind gusts in excess of 200 kilometres an hour. I was in touch with the mayor as the cyclone was coming over and he said constant winds of 160 kilometres an hour. He said it was awfully scary listening to those winds. And he also pointed out that while they did the very best job they could to make sure everyone was safe, they actually don't have a designated cyclone shelter in Lockhart River. So he said that that surely would have helped. At just south of where the system crossed the coast, Cohen, in typical Queensland style, plenty of people sought shelter. Hello again. As tropical cyclone Trevor moves off the coast of Western Cape York and into the Gulf of Carpentaria, the time to act is now for communities in the southwest Gulf ahead of its second coastal crossing towards the weekend. Currently a Category 1 system, just to the southwest of Weeper, tropical cyclone Trevor will intensify rapidly today. With Trevor only just offshore and gales still impacting the Queensland coast, a cyclone warning remains in place for communities between Cape York and Pomparau. The watch area extends further south to Kohanyama and then right along the western and southern Gulf coasts from Nullanboy in the Northern Territory around to Burketown in Queensland. The warm waters of the Gulf and favourable conditions in the atmosphere mean there isn't a lot to stop Cyclone Trevor from becoming a large, powerful and extremely dangerous cyclone. We should see Trevor reach severe Category 3 already by this afternoon and then reach Category 4 intensity from Friday. Gales are expected on Groot Island from Friday and at the core of the cyclone we may see wind gusts as high as 250 kilometres per hour as it approaches the NT coast. Landfall at this stage looks most likely along the Carpentaria or East Arnhem coastlines with those very destructive winds, heavy rainfall and very dangerous storm tides. Daily rain totals are likely to be in the range 200 to 300 millimetres near the core of the system and around 100 to 200 millimetres a little further afield. Trevor may maintain tropical cyclone intensity for at least 24 hours as it moves inland with those heavy rains and damaging winds continuing. Whilst remaining a dangerous weather system, even as a tropical low, at this stage there is the chance it may move into the Barclay District later in the weekend, a region that's desperate for rain after its driest wet season on record so far. Hello again from the Bureau. In less than 24 hours, we've seen Tropical Cyclone Veronica intensify from a Category 1 to a severe Category 4 system, with sustained winds near the centre of 185 km per hour and wind gusts to 260 km per hour. As the cyclone approaches the Pilbara coast over the weekend, communities are likely to experience very destructive winds, very dangerous storm surge and heavy rain that's conducive to major flooding. So now is the time to prepare. This dangerous system, it's slow moving. It'll continue to move towards the south-southwest today and intensify to a Category 5 system. Then on Friday, it's expected to take a turn towards the Pilbara coast. And while it may weaken to a Category 4 just before reaching the coast, a severe impact is likely over the weekend. Gales with wind gusts to 100 kilometres per hour may begin developing around about the coast between Padu and Mardi as early as Friday evening, so a cyclone watch has now been issued. 
and given how large and slow moving this system is, there's likely to be a period of very destructive winds with gusts in excess of 165 kilometres per hour possible as the cyclone approaches the coast. Tides are also likely to rise significantly, particularly on the eastern side of the system, with damaging waves resulting in very dangerous coastal inundation. And widespread heavy rain is also expected. In fact, some locations through the Pilbara may record daily totals of three to 400 millimetres, exceeding their average annual rainfall in just a day or two. So major flooding is likely. HVN will continue to follow severe storms in this region so please click on the subscribe button to the right and bell for notification of new video updates.